All right, so got the wheels and tires on. Next thing I'm gonna do is tackle this front bumper. And shouldn't be too hard to get off. There's just these two Torx bolts on the top on both sides and there's one on the bottom. And then obviously we'll have to unplug our fog lights. The harness runs up and there's a little clip under here. And then we'll get the whole front bumper taken off. And we'll start putting together the new bumper. off there here is the new bumper and it's a winch mount style that's gonna go right down there pretty easy the it's only a little tricky because you have to reach in here to put the bolts in and then here's the bottom mount right there same thing on the other side and the key is if you're putting a winch on like I am you have to put the winch on here first so you're able to get to the bolt holes easily so we'll get the winch mounted on here first and then we'll mount the whole assembly up on the front of the Jeep like I said I'm gonna be going with turn up this bad land basically Harbor Freight it's their new ZXR winches which is probably just the same as the old ones with slightly different packaging but we'll find out So we've got it kind of put in place here. We've got the bottom bolts almost tightened down. The top bolts aren't in yet. But I had to do a little bit of massaging on the brackets to get it to line up. And as you can see, the bottom bolt is right here. That goes in. I just had to spread this apart a little bit. 
Um, and even mentions that in instructions, you might have to do that to fit the frame. And they also um, say in the instructions just to remove the uh, plastic yeah, cover here. But I found that it doesn't look very good with that off of there. So I just trimmed it with a saw, a little cutoff wheel back so the bumper would slide up. And it makes a much more finished uniform look. I said I got the winch put on first and a fair lead, the roller fair lead. And you have to do that, otherwise you don't have easy access to the bolt holes underneath. Uh, makes it much harder. It does make it a lot heavier, so definitely probably want to help her to do that. But it worked out pretty good. Alright, so after you get your top bolts in, the rest is just wiring up the winch. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but it's not exactly hard. You just have to connect the positive lead to the positive on the battery and the negative to the negative on the battery and this mounts up on the front here the one thing i will talk about there real quick is they give you a circuit breaker and i believe that's only 350 amp uh, slow blow breakers uh, and then that's supposed to mount to your battery but the problem in my opinion is there's no on off switch and that's the way everybody kind of does it, but I'm just afraid that if for some reason your controller breaks and your winch won't stop, I want a way to shut it off in an emergency and it's going to take too long to disconnect the cable from the battery. So what I'm going to do is use this little switch and I'll put a link in the description. I bought it on Amazon. It's rated at 300 amps. It's, it is a circuit breaker, but it's also a switch. So you can pop the button just like that pop the button to flip it off and your power comes in here and goes out here and so we will wire that instead of the one that comes with it on the firewall next to the battery that way we have a way to flip it off in an emergency so hopefully this is helpful it's a nice little upgrade for the Jeep along with the wheels and tires like and subscribe, thanks.